Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm doing a review on the new Benefit Mascara and this is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara and this one is the mini size. I have a mini size and also a full size. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure that you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So in this review I'm going to be talking all about this mascara. I'm going to let you know what I like and also what I don't like about it. I'll also let you know if I think it's worth the money because this isn't a very cheap mascara. It is quite expensive and I've also filmed a demo for you so you can see what it looks like with each layer that I apply on my eyelashes and I will put it down below right here while I'm talking about this mascara. So the mascara was released about a month or two ago and I've seen it all over YouTube. People have been saying how much they like it. Honestly I haven't seen any negative reviews about this. When I did go ahead and purchase it at the duty free the lady at the counter was like we've not had any negative reviews about it. Everyone's been saying how much they love it so I was intrigued and I decided to go ahead and get it. So they do have two sizes of this. They have the mini size which is this one then I also have the full size version as well and the full size is £20.50 and this one is £10.50 and I think it's really good that they do mini sizes if you just want to try out a product or if you are travelling because honestly I don't like to buy the full size product if I know I can get a mini size especially if I don't really know what the mascara is going to be like because I didn't know if I was going to like this or if I wasn't going to like it and you never know all of those positive reviews could be ones that are paid for so I decided I was going to go ahead and get the mini one so I could try it out myself. I've been wearing this mascara a lot since I got it. I wore it in America. I've been wearing it to work also on weekends and and honestly, I don't even need to wear false eyelashes with this mascara because it is really good. It does volumise your eyelashes. I've noticed that I do need to put two coats of this mascara on and my eyelashes look so nice and thick. In the demo, I did do three layers just so I can show you how you can build it up. And honestly, I do really like the way that it looks on my eyelashes. My eyelashes are so long. I've got so many compliments on them. But I do have to say, when you use this mascara, sometimes you will need to be a little bit careful because I do tend to get some mascara right here on my eye. And I don't know why that is. I think it's because it volumizes it so much my eyelashes look super long with it and I love the way that it looks also you do have to be careful with this because it can start to look clumpy if you apply two or more layers I don't know why but on this eye it always looks perfect and then on this eye it always looks really clumpy and really weird I don't know if you can see the difference between my eyes so when it does get clumpy I just go in with my YSL baby doll mascara and this one is a really good brush I did do a first impression of this on my channel which I'll link down below or somewhere in this video for you so you can check it out but this is what the brush looks like so on the brush you can see that it does separate the lashes and I just go in with this just in case I do get clumpy eyelashes and this works out really well so I do like it and I do recommend maybe using tweezers or another mascara if it does get clumpy. So the wonder this mascara looks very similar to the YSL Baby Doll mascara and you've got loads and loads of bristles on there. They're rubber bristles so they're not normal ones that you usually get on a mascara and I think that's a really good idea because it gets to every single lash. Obviously the ones in the middle are really small so they don't need to have really long bristles on there. So I really like the one that gets to every single lash it darkens every lash as well and I like the fact that it gets really small on the tip and then it goes bigger on the outside it does help with the volumizing and also you don't poke yourself in the eye with all the bristles because I've had a mascara before where they do have long bristles all the way down it and I've poked myself in the eye several times and it also didn't get to the little lashes on the inside as well but this one gets to every single lash. Also another thing that I really like about the mascara is the packaging I think it's really nice and sleek it's matte it's black you also have the detail on the lid as well so you have on here the studs and I think these are really good because they are rubberized on here so it's very easy for you to grip onto it your hand won't slip as well and I think this is a really good design that they chose also I really like the formula of this mascara it's pretty much the perfect formula it's not too wet and it's not too dry if it was too dry it wouldn't be able to go on the eyelashes very well but this is literally the perfect formula it goes on incredibly well on the lashes and it doesn't smudge everywhere as well so now I'm going on to something that I don't like and there's only actually one thing I don't like about this mascara and that's the fact that I can't put it on my lower lashes or it will smudge I don't know why it smudges but I put it on and then about an hour later I have all of this mascara all underneath my eyes and it's not a good look it's horrible I can't get it off and it literally just won't budge as soon as it gets on there I can't get it off then I have to take off all of my concealer and then redo it and it just isn't a good look so I don't really know why that happens because when I put it on my upper lashes I don't get loads of mascara up here even when I wear my glasses I don't tend to get any mascara on my glasses as well so I don't really know why that is so when I wear this I do put it on the upper lashes because I think it's really beautiful and then for my lower lashes I use my trusty CoverGirl the Super Size Mascara this one does not budge for anything this isn't even the waterproof one it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it doesn't do anything like that so I always put this one on the upper lashes 
lashes and then I use my Covergirl mascara for the lower lashes and that's what I've got on at the moment so in the demo you will see that I don't put this mascara on the lower lashes because I don't like to wear it like that because like I said it does smudge and it's just not a very good look if you're wearing a really good mascara then all of a sudden you get all this black under here. So now I'm going to read some claims that they have on the website and I'll let you know if I agree with them. So the first thing is it says 36 hour full blast volume and I do sort of agree with this my eyelashes look super long and super full. I love the volume of this mascara my lashes look so long and I don't even need to wear false lashes with this mascara but it does not last for 36 hours. Now I usually wear it for a 12 hour day and by the time that I get home from work after about 10 or 11 hours I do need to reapply this mascara if I do go out because it does start to sag a little bit but honestly I love the volume of this mascara and I just think it's probably the best mascara that I've tried for volumizing and it also says it's smudge proof. Now I only half agree with this one like I said I don't get any problems with it on my upper lashes it doesn't smudge but then when I put it on the lower lashes it smudges everywhere and it's just not a very good look so I only half agree with that because I don't recommend putting it on the lower lashes because it's pretty much going to go everywhere and you'll look like a panda and it says it's water resistant as well. Now I sort of agree with this it's because when I was in America I did have hay fever on a couple of the days so my eyes were watering quite a lot and when I was wearing this mascara it did come off a little bit on the lashes like on the outer lashes it did start to come off right here but it didn't stream all down my face so it wasn't really too bad but I think I only half agree with that one. So overall I do think it's worth £10.50 to buy this mascara I think the mini size is really good and I definitely think it's worth it but I wouldn't purchase the full size just because I feel like it's too expensive for what it does. Now like I said I do really like the mascara but there is the problem where it just smudges everywhere on the lower lashes so I can't even use this on the lower lashes but I do recommend getting the mini size. I would probably purchase another one of the mini size because it's great for travel. Also it's not super expensive it's only £10.50 so it's not breaking the bank. So overall I do really like this mascara and I would repurchase it again I just wouldn't purchase the full size I'll just go ahead and get the mini sizes because I definitely think it's more worth the money. So this is my review of the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I hope that you enjoy this video if you've tried this mascara out and if you like it or if you don't just comment down below to let me know and make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!